Good morning you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Clay and today I'm going to give you 10 tips and tricks for staying organized and motivated throughout the day or throughout the year. Okay, without further ado, let's just get going on tip number one. The first thing is, is write things down. It is honestly so valuable to have a planner or even just on your phone, just to write things down. It's kind of like a brain dump where you can just, things that come to mind, you straight away put it down. This honestly alleviates stress. It honestly alleviates your brain to think, feel more relaxed and not constantly be holding ideas um, and information that should be down on paper. Right, the second most valuable thing is have a diary. A diary honestly is so, so, so valuable. This could be in the form of, like mine, paper, or you could have a Google Calendar or, you know, anywhere you want online. But honestly, to schedule things, if I know that I have got to achieve five things before 12, honestly, I get it done if it's written down. If it's not written down, the likelihood of me forgetting is far greater. Right, the third and most important thing is have a time at night where it's a quiet time where you sit and plan. I normally keep my notebook and I have my planner. This is a time where I kind of process, I look at the day's planner, I see what I've done, I schedule things for the next day, and I really just think. Um, I process, I think, I add things to my planner, I add things to my um, notebook. So it really just is a very valuable time where you can just process things. Um, and it's a quiet time. I normally sit in a very neat, quiet space and just process and honestly that time of thinking new ideas spark um, I'm able to organize better if I don't have that time the day before or prepping for the next day my day really is not as organized right and the fourth thing is keep your space neat and organized my brain does not work well if it's not neat. Um, I'm a school teacher so I only teach well or perform well in a neat classroom. The same with my home. So really I'm way more inspired when I'm my office and my home is neat and organized. So that goes into the fifth point which is have a place for everything and everything in its place. Honestly you waste less time looking for things, you stay more productive, uh, your life just flows smoother if everything has a place and you put everything back, that's a trick, to put everything back into its place. And kind of that leads into my fifth point, which is use organizational systems. For example, baskets and bins or containers within your drawers and within your cupboards. Honestly, this has been a lifesaver for me. I used to think I was quite an organized person until I started using bins and little containers. They are essential. Number seven, tidy up before you go to bed. Sometimes you're tired, sometimes you're, you know, you don't feel, look, I I'm, I'm, wouldn't say that I do it 100% of the time, but this little small act of putting your pillows straight, making sure everything's washed up in the kitchen, and nothing lying around on the floor, honestly, you wake up the next morning feeling more motivated. When I see dirty dishes or, you know, untidy lounge, I don't feel motivated. So set yourself upright for a motivated next day and just take a 10 minute quick whiz around the house and tidy up. Number eight, don't procrastinate. Put things away straight away or do things straight away. If you have an idea or if you want to, don't procrastinate. Honestly, this helps you stay motivated. Write things down and then get to action. Number nine, and this may seem small and insignificant, but make your bed. <laughs> Honestly, when I get up and make my bed and make sure everything's looking great, I feel ready to tackle the day. Number 10, last but not least, decorate your space so that you love the space. Um, yeah, just make it pretty or uh, appealing to you, however you like to decorate. Honestly, when I'm in a space that I love, 
I feel way more motivated. I feel inspired. So honestly, just take, and it doesn't have to be expensive. I've lived in different countries and I've decorated for really not a large amount of money. So keep things simple, but make your space your own so that you can, can be creative within it. Okay, guys, well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you in the next video.